So this is the Kodak Hectra smartphone that we're bringing to India. We're really excited to be able to uh, bring this, this product through. It's a product designed specifically for people who are passionate about photography and interested in design and creative uh, pursuits, things like fashion, style, uh, and, and of course photography. So the industrial design of the product is, is well, uh, well balanced and ergonomically designed to be uh, very comfortable in the hand, both as a smartphone and as a camera. We've got a physical uh, camera key on the top of the, uh, the device here, uh, and also a, a nice camera grip here and camera barrel here, so it feels really comfortable uh, and secure in the hand. It's obviously a product that's differentiated by design, designed to stand out and to really feel unique and different to anything else that's on the market. And so it's really about a, a camera phone that not just looks and feels like a camera, it takes great shots as well with a 21 megapixel face detection autofocus sensor uh, with an f2.0 aperture uh, on the product as well. 30 megapixels on the front and again a, a face detection autofocus sensor with f2.2 aperture. Uh, so it takes great shots but it's really also about the ecosystem of stuff around the, uh, the camera and the photo taking. So what do you do with the, cam uh, with the photos that you've taken? How are they presented in the gallery? How are you uh, able to, to do things like editing and sharing photos after the fact? How are you able to get photos printed and delivered straight to your home? And we've addressed all of those things with the Kodak Extra. So if I open up the, uh, the Extra and show you the uh, camera experience here, uh, you've got across the top of the device all the commonly used features like flash controls, setting a timer, changing the aspect ratio, You've got object tracking here as well, so if you've got a, a pet or an, a, a subject that's moving around the frame, you can tap on them and keep them in focus. You've also got a counter here that tells you how many photos you are continuing to be able to take. Nicely in the bottom corner here, you've got a, a wheel, uh, like the clip wheel on the top of a, a device with a little bit of haptic feedback that feeds through the device as well. You can jump around the dial uh, or you can control it here. And you've got all the different modes that the camera can shoot in. So you've got smart auto mode, you've got modes in portrait, landscape, night mode, a sport mode, a macro mode, an HDR mode, panorama, all these, these different modes. Uh, you can control the, the, uh, the wheel in the bottom corner here, or you can tap it once to, uh, to bring it up. Now if I go into manual mode here, uh, this is the most exciting mode because it exposes all the extra controls. Along the bottom here, you've got access to the shutter speed, the ISO, the, uh, the, the focus, so a manual or automatic focus, the white balance and the exposure value. And so you can see live on the device the impact of, uh, of what you're doing as you go. And then if you get out of hand or you over, uh, you, know, you change your control and you're not sure what you've done, you're one touch to get back to safety with a reset button that's right there. So that's the, the general uh, experience. You've also got RAW as a capability that you can enable within manual mode. We've done some really cool things with this as well. So we've disabled the keys on the side here so you, uh, you don't accidentally press them as you're holding this as a camera. And so you exit the camera with this button on the side. We've done some great things in the gallery to ensure that you've got a really nice experience so you can pinch and zoom between photos and have a really rich, engaging experience with the photos that you've taken. And when you're in the gallery itself, You've got uh, these two editors at the bottom here, a Kodak editor for doing simple things like propping an image, uh, applying a, a simple filter or some basic effects. You've also got Snapseed preloaded on the device as well. A really rich and powerful editor, fully professional grade, that allows you to do some amazing things like adjusting, uh, the, uh, uh, adjusting the scene and being able to stretch and, uh, and warp the image into the, the dimensions and the, uh, the aspect ratio that you particularly want. This also that I've got on the display here is a shot I took earlier today. This uses the simulated uh, bokeh or bokeh mode uh, to take an image with a soft uh, blur around the outside. You can see some great detail on this image here uh, and it's a really nice looking, looking shot with a soft blur around the outside. On top of that we've done a couple of other cool little things. Uh, we've got a Super 8 app here that's, uh, that's a really fun to use uh, retro style camera. You take a little video uh, here uh, and then once you've, you've taken, uh, taken that you're presented with a range of vintage Kodak uh, video stocks, so Kodachrome, uh, you've got various black and white stocks, you've got Ektachrome and, and other, uh, other 
uh, vintage video media here from Kodak. You can apply these over the top of the video and put a really nice retro effect uh, on the top. So where on Instagram you might put a vintage filter over a still image, here you can put a vintage Kodak filter over, over a video and a still image if you, if you particularly want to do that. So that's a really nice fun thing and people have loved uh, being able to, to apply uh, really, uh, really fun vintage Kodak experiences over the top of their, their footage. And lastly, we've got a print app here. Now, it's not going to work here because I don't have any cell coverage, but uh, uh, there's a print app on the device that allows you to select photos you're particularly proud of, send them off to Kodak, and you'll get them sent back to your door uh, in, a, in a Kodak yellow envelope. So those rich memories delivered to you uh, in a really beautiful experience. Lastly, then, there's also some fantastic accessories for this product. Genuine leather cases, slip cases that you might use on a day-to-day -day basis, coming in black and in brown as well. We also have some fantastic camera cases that are really, really beautiful, that are a nice vintage experience uh, that you can ride. Simply snap the, uh, the camera in and you've got a, a full camera case experience there. You can actually shoot with it in the case, or you can detach the uh, the flap over the edge and use that uh, as a camera on the go. That also comes in black and brown and we've also excitedly got uh, this Pop and Suki uh, branded case uh, which obviously will appeal to uh, particularly to a female audience. So a really fantastic uh, camera uh, camera led smartphone experience here. It's a great smartphone, it's a great camera but really it's as much about it being differentiated, uh, differentiated by design it's a really different experience. It's really stand out in terms of uh, in terms of the design elements of the product, and it delivers a rich experience that's about going beyond just taking great photos to being able to store them, uh, share them, to be able to edit them, to be able to print them, uh, and that's the really rich experience that's delivered by the Kodak Hectra.